Hello everyone, have you been craving for that perfect jollof rice recipe that has this amazing smoky party jollof rice taste? Like the rice that when you make it, every other person that perceives and tests this rice will fall in love with it over and again. So if you want this type of jollof rice, then you are in the right place. Relax, let me show you how you can make the best, amazing, simple and easy jollof rice recipe. That party smoky jollof rice recipe at home. So first thing you need to do is to wash your rice. Before you wash your rice, you need to soak this rice with hot water, very hot water. You need to boil this water, then pour the water into the rice and let it soak for some time. So, you can let this rice soak for up to like 20 minutes or 30 minutes while you go ahead and prepare the rest of the ingredients. So, while the rice is soaking, you go ahead and prepare your meat of choice. But in this video, I use chicken. Okay, you can use turkey, you can use beef, any meat of your choice, you can even use fish. So I season this chicken with my curry masala, then add with ginger garlic paste, some chopped onions, fresh pepper, you know, those hot fresh peppers, and added also some salt into that. Then I went in with um, chicken seasoning cube. I used Mr. Chef's chicken seasoning cube. After adding that, I add in the Mr. Chef ginger, onion, garlic powder or seasoning. I added it to, to you know, to add more taste to the chicken. I also added my all purpose seasoning, Mr. Chef all purpose seasoning for this particular jollof rice that I want to make. So I added it into the chicken that I want to cook. Then adding just little water. You don't need to add too much water. So I covered it and allowed the chicken to cook, okay? So after the chicken has cooked for some time, I had to stir the chicken and also allow it to cook until the chicken is thoroughly or completely cooked, okay? So once the chicken is completely cooked, the next thing to do is to fry this chicken, yes. So you're going to take the chicken out from, from the um, chicken stock or the stock and then you add some vegetable oil into your pot, add little chopped onions, you know, to boost that taste, add that taste, okay, to the chicken. Then you go ahead and fry the chicken. You're not going to fry this chicken for a longer time or maybe fry it so it will dry out. No, just want that taste, that oil taste to, you know, to get deep into the chicken and, and give it that amazing taste okay so into the same oil that you used to fry the chicken you add in more chopped onions and then you add the uh, the tomato paste so the tomato paste i use here is the gino party jollof tomato paste so you add in the tomato paste there 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 then you go in with your tomato puree this tomato puree i made it by myself i once shared a video on how to make this tomato puree i'll also be um, dropping the video in the description section here as well. Also, I have a video on how you can make tomato paste at home if you also wish. I'll also drop it in the description section. So after frying your tomato paste and your tomato puree for some time, you go in with the remaining curry masala, then the Mr. Chef Jollof seasoning. You add the Mr. Chef Jollof rice seasoning, adding some nutmeg powder, add some of the ginger onion garlic seasoning as well so after adding that you're going to you know stir this a little you add in your curry powder you know a little bit of curry powder to add to the the um, curry masala you have added adding some salt and then add the all purpose seasoning mr chef all purpose seasoning after adding all this you go in with some bell leaves okay adding some bell leaves and then you're going to add in the rice that you've washed okay the rice that you soaked earlier make sure you wash it thoroughly i shared a video on how you can wash your rice to remove all the starch from the rice i'll be dropping the link in the description section down below so you stay in the rice you can see that there's some oil in this rice this will help to keep the, the rice glossy and shiny when it's cooked you add in the chicken broth and then little water you have to rinse the bowl and add it into that and stir everything once you stir everything you're going to cover this with um, aluminum foil paper 
or aluminum foil yeah <laughs> so after covering it you cover it with the pot cover and allow this to cook on low to medium heat okay you don't need to cook it on a high heat allow it to cook gently so that it will the steam is going to help the rice to cook and once the rice is cooked you go in with some chopped vegetables you can use your green pepper green beans carrot and red bell peppers and other things you wish to use to you know to put as vegetables in your rice then stir everything make sure that this rice burns be on underneath this will give it that party smoky taste and your party jollof rice is ready Omo, just sit down grab a plate and enjoy this rice can go for at least two to three persons that doesn't that that do not eat too much oh. <laughs> so i hope this recipe helps you and if it does please don't forget to like subscribe and share also follow me on all my social media handle on facebook page at the variety chef bye bye